喂，好噶。喂。喂，系边位？哦，系，Tria，我上完咧，帮手，帮我搵雇主啊，姐姐。咁啊，而家咩？八百蚊，你俾雇主炒佢鱿鱼。啊，咁点解？点蚊啊？
You don't need to complain about your employers. Just take it. Uh, you come here to work and this is not for you to come to complain about the treatment of the employers. Of course, the agencies would not get their money if the domestic worker complained and they lose their job. So, you know, they often discourage them. But once the uh, domestic worker has completed the payment, often they don't care. Uh, it's even in the interest of the agency that the domestic worker complains and loses her job so that they can introduce another domestic worker to the employer and therefore maximize their profit. And then, you know, then, then the vicious cycle continues. Yet,很多事,就,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,呃,
When I was terminated, I go to my agency and the agency said to me, I need to go back again in the Philippines. It means I need to pay another pay again, another fee for my new employer. But I think about why I why I need go back to the Philippines and wait on a new employer. Since I'm here in Hong Kong, can I get new employer here in Hong Kong? I think I go about 10 agencies and then before they give you employer like that, they will tell you, you must pay this amount of money. So I, I, I ask them how much and then they say 7,000, 8,000, sometimes ten, the other agency 10,000. And then I just look this agency and then they told me you just give 3,000 before you you go to Macau and then the sal sal salary for two months, 1515. So I just got this agency. So I paid the, uh, for my second employer, for my second agency, 9,000 Hong Kong dollar. Before I exit in the Macau, I need to pay 2,000 cash. Before I go to Macau, I paid uh, 3,000 Hong Kong dollar as a advance payment. Most of the employment agencies, they, they really ask the migrant domestic workers to go back to Macau in case of termination of contract rather than going back home to the uh, place of origin. They like you to go to Macau because they, they earn more. They earn more rather than going back to the Philippines. All those agency fees that they were going to collect it to you is all for the Hong Kong agency. I have to pay the for processing my papers, but no receipt. When we ask the receipt, they say no, no receipt at all. There's little evidence of misconduct of employment agencies because they're not actually um, thoroughly investigating the agencies. If they're looking for hard evidence, they're not going to find it because agencies will obviously not issue receipt to show or prove that they're charging illegal fees. So there's lack of paper trail. I want first to know the <laughs> What? How much it will cost oh, me, really? Yeah. Total is a five thousand eight. Before I go to Macau, I pay two thousand. If you go to Macau, you pay the deposit. Deposit how much? Total is five three. Oh, five but, three. Yeah, but before if before you go to Macau, you can pay four is four three. Ah. Have the, I have the discount that is the four thousand three hundred mm. is discount discounted. Mm. It's very expensive. Uh, 如果他們不處理,沒什麼效果的 I think it's uh, because of the low value um, placed on domestic work and, and women at that um, especially also because the workers are, are migrants they're coming from you know, uh, poorer countries there's an element of um, racial and social discrimination uh, against migrant domestic workers <laughs> I just want to ask first how much it will cost me. Macau? Yes. Uh, how much? Uh, 5,000. No reduction. No reduction? Yeah. Cast here? Yeah. Oh, that is a uh, free boarding house? Uh, no, not include the boarding house. Oh, not include that? Mm -hmm. It's only the agency fee. Yes. The 5,000. Mm -hmm. I go to Macau for wait my visa. I've been waiting in Macau for one month for my new visa. At the boarding house, there's a lot of cockroach. There's, there's a lot of a small bug and then I cannot sleep at whole night because I always scratching. I only get one piece of uh, box of carton 
and then I cut it and open and then I put in the balcony because I sleep all in the balcony. Almost 20 in one condition and then so many, uh, you know, the bed bugs and then the food is not enough. They just cook for a little because a lot of people it stay in that accommodation. Mm. You need to be compressed, no more choice, because we don't have a uh, own bed, we don't have any room. The food, I need to pay, I need to uh, spend my money. I remember I expend also uh, 1,000 Hong Kong money for my food allowance in one month. We cannot just go out because they hold our passport, and then we have a car view. If we go out, then you must come back to fight like that. Of course, I'm very scared because you never say that you are waiting for the visa in Macau. You never say that. Maybe they asking the police why we are staying in Macau for so long and then asking for the Hong Kong ID or whatever. You don't need to say, I'm waiting for my visa, otherwise you get in trouble. They just um, contact you if the visa is coming. Then you must prepare your things because tomorrow or the other day you must go back. And then when I come back, I paid 5,000 Hong Kong dollar. And I paid that within, I think, three months. Three months. 1,600. I think, yeah. 1,600 each month. Mm. We don't have choice. You need to be follow the uh, regulation of the agency, the policy. That's it. No, it's not fair. I experienced that when, when I first month here, I work one month, I almost sleep 11 o'clock and then I wake up 5. And then after I get my salary, then I just give to the agency the 3,100. I cannot send money to the Philippines and then my kids is suffering so hard. Mm -hmm. In a couple of a helper and a employer, maybe they earn a, about a fifteen thousand Hong Kong dollar. The employer pay for the for the, for you, and you also me the helper. I need to pay also for the agency. So the agency uh, earn money a lot. Uh, my family told me that it's better you go back home. You taking care of kids. I always think the money that I spend. So I did not give up, even I miss, I keep on crying. <laughs> mm. Why this government of Hong Kong, they allow the agency doing like this? I think that we need to do something to stop all that doing the agency. There should be a concerted effort between the relevant departments like the immigration department, the labor department, the police so that proper investigation be conducted and initiate prosecution actions against their employment agencies. Kamsinja